well. Since I have to wait for Windows to back up the hard drive, I thought it would be a good day to organize and take inventory of my collection of old parallel ATA hard drives. I've been having problems with Max Diamondmax Plus series of hard drives in the past few years, and all of my Diamondmax Plus 8s and 9s have failed. I believe all these failures are indeed due to the mileage that I've put on the devices over the past 16 years, and I continued to use them when they were clearly showing signs of overheating and failure. My Diamond Max that recently failed was bought back in 2002, and today, March 18th, 2018, I had to retire it because it began having errors and was reporting bad sectors. First, I clean the surface of the disk drive to make it easier to apply a sticker, because with a sticker, it's faster to identify the drive. After cleaning the surface, I apply the correct sticker, and I make sure that I identified which ones I own are bad or having problems. I put the hard drive in an anti-static bag filed with a silica gel desiccant packet to remove remaining moisture from the bag. On my computer I keep an extra list of my inventory to ease my seek time when searching for parts that I own. I copied an image of the computer's OS that was being ran on the 40GB Diamond Max 9 drive and began the process of transferring the operating system to a 1TB Western Digital Blue drive. I had problems while installing the Windows 7 image on the new drive because of some amateur mistakes I had made earlier. Every time I tried to load the image from the boot disk, I got the error 0x80042414. Make sure no disks were excluded earlier by mistake. I thought it'd be possible to install the image on the drive that it was being copied from. The error was because it wanted to format the entire drive to recreate the partitions that the old drive originally had. But I later had the idea to use the external hard drive that I originally copied the image on to copy the image from that instead. But sadly, I made mistakes with that too. But that was because I had the external hard drive plugged into the wrong USB port in the back of the computer. Turns out that I had the external hard drive plugged into a USB PCI board rather than a native motherboard IO USB port itself. Some people will have a similar error that I had if the device they are copying to doesn't have the correct drivers to install properly and they would have to download the drivers onto a USB thumbstick or external hard drive to install the image without errors. Finally, my machine is back to business as usual. Notwithstanding my problems with the Maxter line of products, I definitely got my money's worth, and it's a shame that the company was acquired by Seagate in 2006. I wish I had the tools to show every step in detail, and it is something I'm currently working on, and hopefully I can provide something a bit more professional in the future.